The sad ass girl. So the number one question we get asked all the time is how we met and I thought it'd be really awesome to explain again our love story but in a different format and yeah I want to show you the place that I first set eyes on my incredibly handsome husband. You are best time coming to Nenda. Yeah. You are seeing me. You are more seeing me. The first time I ever saw Lahiru, I was in the clinic and he was working in the clinic disabled compound. And then I was like, ooh, who is that? I kept seeing you around and I just kept watching you. I don't know, because it was like a magnet, you know? I just couldn't stop watching what you were doing. I was just like amazed by you. But the last thing I was looking for when I came to Sri Lanka was love. I just wanted to be independent. I wanted to find my self-confidence and travel around a bit. And yeah, that didn't happen basically. I can't explain the feeling that I felt, but if you know, you know. If you find your person, then you know the feeling an explosion of the heart. I'm seeing and you are very beautiful woman. You are so amazing and this disabled dog can bandage change and massage dog can lick massage. Beautiful girl. But we couldn't speak to each other. Yeah. Because you spoke no English mm. and I spoke no Sinhala so it was like what to do? This is when it got kind of awkward mm. because I knew that I liked you, but I didn't know that you liked me, or if you liked me. Mm. And I couldn't speak to you, you couldn't speak to me because of the language barrier. And you were ridiculously shy. Mm. Some work guys speak this lady like you. Really? Mm. Um, obvious. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Oh, big kick, smile come. I'm first time, no, nothing girl, love it. Yeah. Nothing else. Changed my life. Then what happened? I just looked down, Corona and start. Yeah. I looked down. I'm home. You are just animal list you is yeah. And find you are on Facebook. Facebook. Good idea if I <laughs> Oh really? <laughs> yeah, so you are see. And you added me as a friend and I was like, yeah. oh <laughs> you have start one. Was it me that started messaging you first? No, you messaged me yeah. first. And maybe something and hard one. With an emoji. Yeah. We were sending each other emojis because that's how we could mm. kind of portray our feelings through <laughs> emojis and stuff. And then we then started to use Google Translate. Mm. So that was cool. And then we were like organizing to meet up on the beach. Mm. You were getting more confident to talk to me mm. at work. So then I was teaching you how to do bandages yeah. and wound care. Yeah. So we were spending more time together. But then people didn't like that. Yeah, like. <laughs> <laughs> but it was good because that's how you learned how to do bandages and yeah. treat wounds. Ah, uh, something with school beats and that talk. Ah, uh, yeah. And they go with your friends. Yeah. My friends and go. Yeah. Them. And then we'd go swimming together. That mm. was our first kiss. Mm. Yes. You remember? Mm. <laughs> and then like from there, when we were like hanging out and swimming together in the, on the beach, we then started like learning what was around us. Mm. Like star, mm. for example, you taught me taru. Mm. And then you understood star. And then, and then we'd keep meeting at the beach and then we'd play Uno. Mm. Uno. Which is the card game, if you don't know. And it's like different numbers and different colors. So then, We'd put down like a yellow five and I'd say ka pa pa hai mm. and you would say yellow five. So we learnt those little mm. things from there. Oh and then the lockdown happened. Ah yeah, again lockdown, yeah. Yeah. Mm. The lockdown it was like in and out of lockdown, wasn't it? So then everyone was on lockdown and no one could come out of their houses mm. and go to work. But obviously the dogs needed people and we were both working at Animal SOS, of course that's how we met. So I moved in to one of the apartments with two of the other managers and mm. then you moved in to the other apartment on mm. the site and they're like next to each other with like 10 other people. Mm. So I remember I'd, we'd be messaging each other mm. like these emojis from the balconies because we'd be like a little bit still a bit shy to go and mm. hang out with each other and also there were lots of people around so it's kind of awkward mm. if we were to hang out together. I'd be on one of the balconies mm. like looking to the other balcony 
and you'd just be there brushing your teeth for like mm. 30 minutes and I was always like staring at you and wondering why you were brushing your teeth for so long <laughs> but I just kept staring at you because I was like wow <laughs> <laughs> there was like an immediate connection with us like I can't really describe the feeling but it was like there was no other option like he's my person mm. and I'm his it didn't matter that we were from opposite sides of the world completely different cultures and upbringings the language barrier and also the hurdles in our daily lives with people's opinions none of this mattered to us mm. we just knew we had to be together mm. you know like back then it was literally just like it didn't matter about anything else mm. that's um, what it felt like for me mm. what about you i'm just thinking, i'm lucky you are <laughs> i'm lucky <laughs> you're thinking you're lucky yeah why it's nice beautiful human and many did you want to marry me then? <laughs> yes, I'm done. No, I know done now. Mm. But like back then, is that what mm. you were thinking? Yeah. Yeah, before I'm... Um... Really? Yeah. It's so funny to think back to how we used to be and then like look at us now. You know, back then we couldn't talk to each other at all. Mm. There were many people's opinions and judgments involved. Mm. and back then we felt like we had so many challenges to overcome mm. and then like look at us now we're married we've proven those people wrong who didn't believe in us or had too much of a strong opinion against us mm. we have our own home we have our dog family around us we have so many future plans we've got this amazing youtube channel yeah. And we've built so many incredibly positive connections with like-minded people or people that are in the same situation as us. Mm. You know, that's what's so incredible about sharing our story is that we've been able to connect with similar relationships to us. Mm. So it's really nice to be able to, to share that, speak about that and for other people to understand what we've gone through. Mm. You know? Yeah. Because I remember we had that really hard time before where we met at Ahangama Beach. Mm. Remember? And we sat on that rock and we were like, what are we going to do? Mm. Like, I just felt like everyone was against us. Yeah. And that time when I got asked to move from lower site to top site because mm. people didn't want us to work together. Yeah. And I remember having that meeting and then going back down to lower site and sitting in one of the kennels with Peggy and Hillary mm. and I just cried because I didn't want to leave my family, my lower sight dog family just because other people didn't want us working together mm. even though we had a professional working relationship mm. like I was teaching the hero how to do wound care and bandages like that's how you learn mm. and but people were really against it at the time so there was that and then the whole like living situation. We knew we wanted to be together, but we felt like we were standing on eggshells mm. or that we were being watched all the time. Sasko and Morok and the beat. I win the. I think this was like our lowest moment. Four days locked down and released really it. Two oh, days. Oh, yeah, when the curfew lifted. Carefully. Sasko and the beat. There was a problem. Mm. Yeah, some people had mm. very strong opinions. Mm. and it made us feel really low and we didn't know what would be the next step like mm. how we could possibly be together yeah like it just seemed like it wasn't going to be possible mm. like we were speaking about leaving Sri Lanka at that point yeah remember I was like how are we going to get you to England how can we get you a visa like maybe we could go to a different country but none of that ended up being possible just because of the situation at that point. And why we speak different from the home and drink to go? Yeah. Leave the year. Yeah, so that's when we made mm -hmm. the decision this to yeah. start looking for land. But actually like at the start it was like we were just doing it for fun. Um, yeah. Because we wanted like an escape or like to think that it maybe could be possible or to see what the dream would be. Mm. You know, but we didn't actually think right then that we would actually be buying a plot of land. Next after land buying, it's now ask Mary, I'll be like, this 
in New Year's life. Different life and change, change, everyday change, life. Yeah. Ask me it and I'm only choice. Please remember this I'm only choice that my life changed. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, Animal SOS is always going to be such a huge part of our life. Like, yeah. That's where we met each other and yeah, it's such a special place to us. I just want to add in here quickly that Animal SOS have job vacancies available where you can learn new skills whilst at the same time creating a positive impact for the animals of Sri Lanka. There are a few different positions available, for example, working with the disabled dogs and they're also looking for clinic staff too, both full-time positions. And there's also great management opportunities too. So if you're working a nine to five job in a cold climate country and you need something new, you want a career change, or you just want something different. If you have any questions about working for Animal SOS, you can send me a message. And if you'd like to apply for a position, I'll leave the email address in our description box below where you can send your CV to. Good morning, everyone. The sun is out. It's a beautiful, beautiful day today. Oh, it's just amazing what the sun does to your mood and the difference it can make. We've just been enjoying this outside area because we recently upgraded our patio area. So if you haven't seen that video, you should go and watch it after this one. So yeah, we've just been chilling here this morning and just taking it easy. It's really nice to have a bit of downtime and just take a step back from doing all the projects and just being crazy all the time and just reflecting and then also being creative and like talking to each other about all our different ideas for future renovation projects which we're really excited about so hopefully we can get started on some of those soon because we know how much you guys love the renovation videos so we'd love to be able to bring you some more and we're really keen to get stuck into doing some more renovation projects some really exciting ones coming up actually and also let us know guys what you want to see in our videos too we'd really love to hear your opinion and yeah i mean after all you guys are the reason why we're here so let us know what videos you'd like to see from us too and yeah let's get started with our day good morning everyone three days before i'm start new gate making this area this change this area ugly let's go top and more space under the dog doggy i'm no video this looks looks rain here today and me and my wife and making new gate area Lulu? Yeah? Come in. So this is where the old gate was and then the new gate is going up there. So then this hopefully will be a nice stairway area that kind of like leads to the land up there. Before we actually spent a day making a stairway up here, like lots of different steps that led up to the land but we didn't really think it through and we were just kind of like rushing it so we just cut out the soil and didn't do anything else like we didn't put any supports in or there was no concrete or bricks involved so with all the heavy rains it's all just gone and it's one big muddy slope again so it's really hard to get up the land when it's like this so hopefully in the near future we can actually start putting in steps again and making it look really really nice i just have all of this vision in my head for our land and i think hopefully soon we can start making it happen got a nice strong fence here <laughs> good job Ru. We've got some bananas! Woo! Ah! <laughs> Safe. So we're basically reusing the old wood from the fence that we'd originally put here, but that wood was from our old roof, the wood that we could save, but that wasn't good enough to go back on the new roof, if that makes sense. So we're reusing what we've reused already. <laughs> if that makes sense. Reuse it until it can't be used anymore. All right, you're gonna tell your fans what you've done then. Yeah, looks really good now. 
good morning everyone today i am chicken cage moving in a compound this big no this is very very heavy this now we everything off this go inside and get fixed It's Ranji coming and so different and it's big, there's no wood and broken. It's pick up and go this cage and roof fix. This cage and big and we do in this area and this gate off and this area clean and chicken and go every way. You happy with your area now? <laughs> so Rue has been really busy working on this area. He did start videoing it. However, we've been having so much rain and he was working through the rain, so couldn't actually video the rest of the cleaning, but it looks absolutely amazing now. So the next step for this area would be to make a little pathway with some steps leading up through. But with the amount of rain we're having right now, it's not possible to do that. But we thought today we're going to also try to finish the upgrade on the chicken cage that's in the compound. So that's where they go at night time and that's where they lay their eggs. <laughs> so we wanted to upgrade them and yeah, we just want to give our chickens the best life basically. So that's the first time they've all gone in on their own. Yesterday was literally our only day of sunshine that we've had in quite a few weeks and it was glorious. But today we're back to a very miserable rainy day. I really hope that soon the rain is gonna stop and the sun is gonna come out full time again because I need the sun in my life. I really do. <laughs> but I'm really trying to embrace this slow way of life that the rain is forcing on us. Usually we are like, go, go, go all the time. Always projects, always fast moving. But the rain is really making us take a step back and yeah, not really do much, except this area here, which is the laptop setup. That is where I spend literally 12 hours of my day, every day, I'm editing all the time. And yeah, so yesterday was lovely. Today is not so lovely. Yesterday was amazing actually, because we went on a feeding round with Animal SOS. So we actually had like 350 kilos of food in the back of the truck. And we went all the way around Ahangama, Midigama, Waligama, Marissa, Martara. And we were out there for over 10 hours. We left at 5.30 and then Lahiri and I got back home at four o'clock this morning because we were so busy feeding all the dogs. I think we must have fed over a couple hundred street dogs. So that was really awesome. It was really, really tiring. I did loads of videoing as well because I'm also videoing for the sanctuary. So for one of their videos.
And yeah, today's just been like another really slow day, but also lots of editing. And our neighbor actually just dropped off a load of plants today. So Lahiri is out, he is planting loads of beautiful plants in our garden. There's a puppy making some weird noises. And hopefully these plants are gonna be flowering. I have to show you just what's going on. The Rosie is down here. Rosie, are you between my legs? Literally, Rosie is my shadow everywhere I go. So yeah, Lahiri is working on planting all these plants and has also broken a pipe in the process. <laughs> Projects never go 100% smooth in this household. But yeah, hopefully that will spruce up our garden. I feel like we're really working little by little and our garden's really coming together and soon it will be like a really tranquil, beautiful place to just be. many things about my husband but one of the things I love the most is the fact that he is amazing at cooking and I'm not just being biased he is actually amazing everything that he makes tastes incredible so I'm very very lucky <laughs> that I have an amazing chef what are you making veggie pan veggie pan <laughs> Mari you want some vegetable bread <laughs> Freshly baked bread. Wow. Oh my god, Rue, that looks insane. The dogs like the smell of it anyway. <laughs> it is approved. Hot? Mm. Rasni? <laughs> Got it, Rasai, or just Rasai? Puffin's like, please can I have some? Please can I have some of your nice bread? Please may I have some bread, Dad? Please may I have some bread, Dad? Kamari says, please can I have some bread, Dad? Is going on some bread? This is one of those days where the weather is so rubbish you literally just don't want to go outside. So this is the perfect kind of food for this weather. It smells amazing. Freshly baked bread. Ow! <laughs> it's hot. Thank you this video looking and like and comment and subscribe. See you next week. This is our last story. What is next week? Chuk chuk, tulaman. <laughs>